right, we are going to try and see if we can do our Mono Adriani in under nine minutes. I saw a guide for this level on Steam, but it read more like a wiki article than an actual guide on how to complete the level. So we are going to take our truck and already we have important things we're doing. We gotta position this, hopefully just right. Gonna follow this little stretch of short straight road so we can put our truck with the hood just about in line with this ladder. And hopefully that's in the right spot. Grab this light and climb up. Now we are going to cut this cargo crane and get it into the queue as quickly as possible. Because our crane needs to work on that because we need to get under. Start working on this hatch. When you're done with this, you'll want to put them into the queue as well. Alright, now we'll break these two panels here. It's a surprise tool to help us later. Now, for pathing reasons, we're going to cut this cargo crane but we are not going to add it to the queue just yet. Instead, we're going to start working on this hatch. And get these into the queue. And we'll cut this cargo crane and add both the cargo cranes to the queue. Alright, you'll want to grab this light and then empty your pockets. Because what's down here, which we need to grab, is very heavy. You can leave the plastic trash, we don't need that. But check out your box and head down one more level. We're gonna grab everything in here and go down one more level, get these shells and the light. And I'm still a loot goblin even while trying to do a run. All right, now we're gonna do something that may seem a little odd to some of y'all. Pop down here and destroy this mobile cargo. Because it's in the way, we will auto-target to it from later throw points, and we don't want to do that. Make sure to grab shells and those lights and that cargo pallet. And we should be able to access this pallet, and I pull up this mobile cargo just as an indicator when everything's done up here. So grab this light, head in, grab these barrels, and that computer. And that should be a full box. Grab your rope and head up here. We need to grab the ovens from the mess. We don't need that hood, though. Grab all the furniture and the lights. Then break the top layer of these floor panels. And then if you've positioned your truck right, you should be able to throw it over that funnel. And then go ahead and dig down. Oops. Cheeky bugger. We threw out our box a little bit earlier so we could fit everything. And if you positioned your truck correctly, you should be able to throw from this corner. Dig back down again, and in this section our goal is to not grab anything that's not necessary to get access to the roads. Don't forget, there's an upper row of rivets on this wall. 
So we'll pop down here. Pick up what we can. Our box is full, so we'll go out and we'll check our box again. With our Herculean strength. But we're going to go back down this door. Because we need to get in here. If you don't have explosives, you can use your hammer. It'll just be a little slower. Shut off the power. Grab that light and head back up. Keep on grabbing. We do want that wood. Now on this section, don't forget there's an extra rivet on these side walls. Break everything down, wait for it to fall so we can jump through. We want to break out here. Now don't worry about all the stuff that's here. The crane doesn't care about that stuff. So just pull up the power and check your box. We'll head back inside. We need this light, these washing machines, and table. And you'll want to break in here. Shut off the power, and you'll grab basically everything in here except the lockers in the corner. You'll want to chuck your box again. Head back inside into this room and grab all this wooden furniture. And then we're going to break the walls, floor, and ceiling to get the rest of our uh, wood requirement for the contracts. If I could aim, this would speed up the process. Now your box is going to fill up while you're doing this, so just go out and chuck your box again. <laughs> and once we go back in and grab the rest of the stuff, you'll want to head back out and empty your pockets once more, <laughs> because we got a lot to grab. So head up, grab this fire extinguisher, light, that set of fire extinguishers, the furniture back here. Then we're going to head up two or one level, grab these fire extinguishers, and then head up another two levels. Grab that fire extinguisher, that's the last we need. Then while you're in here, grab wood and bridge modulars and stuff. That's to get your copper. <laughs> and just chuck your box as needed. Lastly, we need to go into this room, which has the desks that we need. And some more wood, just to make sure. Oh, I have forgotten a step. In fact, we will need to grab these washing machines. Now, chuck it into your truck. And you may notice I am ignoring the truck. Uh, the money that you get from the scrap is simply not worth it for the time that you spend recycling, even with the auto recycle. So pop in here, run your contracts, and don't hit scrap before you run them all. Scrap and reset? It's about 6k a run. <laughs> 